We are back to the Scout Sentinel playthrough, which is game three, and kind of technically game one, but not really. Uh, get your mic a little closer to your face. It's kind of difficult to do that with the shirt, but... Alright. Let's see, what were we doing? Search for Basila. <laughs> ah, sorry. I, you were in the lower city, right? No. You Actually, yeah, I was about to go there. You're about to go... Yeah, you, you said that you finished everything except going to the lower city. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. That's not right. So then, over this way. Well, you've got a double-bladed sword now. I've had it since the first session. I went to Kebli Yurts and oh. bought the Achani ritual brand or whatever. Well, that's right. That's right. I forgot. That's cool. That's not right. Listen to me, people. No. The perfect disguise. No one will ever know. Hello there. I actually kind of like this armor. Looks nice. I wholeheartedly agree, fellow Sith. Yes, but I don't care about different types of damage. Alright. You know what? Nah, you know. I haven't actually done anything useful. Now that's... As I found out doing this... The other day... This is not a hard battle... As long as, you know, you use the game mechanics that are provided. If you play this like a first person shooter, or even like I play Dragon Age Origins, you'll get your butt kicked. Yeah. But if you. You'll get your butt kicked in Dragon Age Origins with the way you play in Dragon Age Origins. It's working so far. But if you, you know, manage every single action. What was that? What did you do to Izzy? But if you manage every single action, it works a lot better. Oh, of course. Yeah. What? There's nothing you can do about it that sticks you right there no matter what. There we are. Hmm. Yeah. But no, that's how I actually play most RPGs. I'm actually- Charlie! I deal with every action personally, and See, things I find work that better that way. Very difficult to do in Dragon Age. Heck. The the game system just doesn't let me control it the way that I want to. You Are you can, kidding me, Carl? You can tell that it's related in concept to the Knights of the Old Republic games. There's a lot of the same thought behind it. But... But... One, there's no action cue. Yeah, that... It does kind of bother me, but... And so, you know, you can... And combat goes so fast in the game that you can tell somebody to do something and by the time they actually are, you know, in a position where they can do it, the target you were looking at may be dead. And yeah. you and the next thing you know, they've run halfway across the map. 
That's why you control the actions of every party member to make sure no one kills them before you want before you kill them. I just can't play a game where I'm having to pause every tenth of a second. And see, that's actually how I play the game. All games, really. And see, the thing, see, I hadn't done this yet. Gone down to this end and killed those two guards. I need to. Well, no, I just do that first. Yeah, because they're right there. Yeah. Easy XP. There, yeah, the toilet corpse right there, that's the one. Yeah, I already looted it, though. Oh, uh, those are apartments. You know what? Yeah. Save before doing anything important ever. Also, I swear I did not give Charlie any catnip, no matter how weird he's acting. Charlie, do not attack the dog, that's a terrible idea. Charlie, oh my gosh. Okay, no, he's sniffing now. Go this way. Hmm. No, they haven't seen us yet. How many parts do I have? If you got a higher skill level, you might be able to do everything, or at least enough. Only six now, parts. Now the thing is, there's so many black Valkers in here. You're gonna get more XP from manually killing them, and then coming back later well, to repair the droid. Well, there's that, and the droid. I mean, do everything that you want to, except I wouldn't engage them in patrol yet if you can't do everything. Yeah, obviously. Because if you can't do everything, you can go get more parts and then come back and finish repairing them. Yeah. For XP. Exactly. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Alright. Yep. Charge into battle then. Hello there, Mr. Volker. Yay! One hit kill! There's more coming. Yeah, I know. And there should be some you behind you, too. You... I'm not allowed to say that you word. You are in trouble. I know. Karth, it doesn't matter. Let's see. You know what? Poison. I'll, I'll be fine. Gonna need another by the time we're done with that. That was not part of the plan. Nope. Can I reload my save? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing, you know, no death runs. Or, you know, natural death runs where you have to wait and beat it. I mean, sometimes if I lose someone, I go through the battle because I know I'm going to win anyway. It bothers me to win the battle without all of them alive. That's, a, that's literally it. It just bothers me. So, that was most definitely... What an idiot. That was not part of the plan. We're going to have to fix the plan. How do you propose we do that? What, how do you do this fight? Yes, yeah, that fight with four Volkers, that got me killed. Okay, first of all, don't go attack them. Do the door first. Fine. Oh. Thank you, Karth. That was very nice of you. Okay. Now can I attack them? I would. You're not... I don't think you can draw them off sides, but you might try... Here's the thing. What happened with those two Volkers afterwards was they pretty much just ignored me and went straight into the room. So if I wandered off... Yeah, that that's unusual. What normally happens is they run around behind you. I huh. think what screwed up is because you charged in with me with melee. Yeah, that's what I typically do in games. Okay, throw a grenade down. I don't want to waste a grenade on them. 
Okay, in that case, run until they sh start shooting you and then come back to the room. Okay. Hey there guys. you go. Karth, no, please. Now, switch to Karth because he's run and is now sitting in between the two of them. Because he thinks to use a blaster, you have to be able to stick it in their ear. <laughs> Mandy, stop. Sorry, what's the video? You hush. Now, look behind you. Normally, a group runs in behind you, but it looks like they didn't stop. Apparently, okay. you and Mom just have an entirely different... Yeah, I have. Con that's what happens to me consistently, is a group runs in behind you. Oh my See, gosh. There's two in here. Good job. Nice. Double-bladed swords. All right, we have more med packs for Karth. Get out the way. The upcoming battle. I am going to save again because you save before everything. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Okay, now I'm going to use a grenade. There we are. He is very dead. Yep. I don't need that level up yet, so... Oh, of course. Karth, no. Focus on yeah, the other one. two different bosses in this building, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it's one, one in this building and one in the next apartment building. You gotta get past the shield first. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted Karth to go ahead and attack him. Okay, first of all, how dare you? Now I'm going to level up. Attributes. Pretty even. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put more into intelligence. And then my persuade is maxed for now. Let's put more into repair. A bit more into security. Oh, that's cross class. Just so maybe hold off for that. Then demolitions and computer use. Huh. Apparently I just like get feats without actually spending points. Mm-hmm. Nice. You get some, yeah. I just got implant level two. You didn't auto level, did you? Hmm? You didn't auto level, did you? No. Why would I do that? I just I finished my level up and then I said, Congratulations, you have been granted these feats. Hmm. And one of them was implant level two. Very nice of them, but strange. Oh. This building has seen some fights. Yep. Huh. I thought that was in the other apartment building. Okay. Pretty sure I remember the order. Okay, let's see. Can't remember what, if it was Alinda or Ashana first, so... Alas. I must read the thing. Okay, Alinda. Uja, Uji. Alinda, Uja, Uji, Lupa, Photo, Ashana. Alinda, Uja. Karth, get out the way. Uji. 
Lupa. Karth, I will kill you if you don't stay out the way. Photo. And Ashana. Alright. Heck yes! It is time. You can have my combat suit. Oh, that's right, security. Kipuna! Kabatumpa kulpa yiya moka paata! Chiyoka kutumpa kulpa yiya! Huh. Probably that. Yeah. yeah. Just like with Largo, this guy has a bounty out on him. Yeah, I remember Matrix. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? We eat and not eat. Are you? You oh. failed. Ready for a walk? Do you want to go? Kipuna. I will be back though. You better believe it. You know what? Okay. Yes. What's on your mind? I'm all ears, beautiful. Hmm. To take the bait or not to. Hmm. You know what? Sure. Is there something else you'd prefer I called you? Don't get yourself in a twist over it, gorgeous. I didn't mean anything by it. You know what? Sure. Oh, for crying out. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, you call me something. Go ahead. Come on. I can take it. Okay. Are you afraid you'll hurt my feelings? Come on, spit it out. You can do it. Oh, all this is today, eh? Are those questions really necessary? Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the what happened on the Endar Spire conversation. Yeah. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Strong you know, word. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, no makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. It's not technically a spoiler, I'm just being ominous. Forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? You're not sure. Makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster... Is what is this, you say? A last-minute addition? You know what, yeah. No? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Consider yeah. your connection to Bastila and the Jedi. But whether you know it or not, I have your no presence connection. here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing I know. Probably. I a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. Same. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Yeah. Hmm. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. 
And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. We'll <laughs> talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Tragic backstory, not unlocked. Not yet. I will be back, Matrix. After my next level up. Alright. Continue on this way. Cantina. Gotta get the bounties. Gotta do all the things except play Pizak because no, we're not doing that until we absolutely have to. By the way, when will we have enough fire logs? I don't know, because the paper logs, they don't last as long as the artificial logs. But, you know, they're better than just throwing loose sheets of paper into. Yeah. Go away. It's Kalo. Yeah, well, Kalo Nor doesn't want to say hi to you. One. Do you know what that name means to me? To him? Nothing. It means nothing. You sound kind of nervous there, my dude. Three. Flash grenade. They are dead. How very unfortunate to lose such fine, promising members of the Black no Volkers. One. <laughs> Smart. I'm not allowed to say it. I'm not allowed to say it. Mm hmm. Just want to say it, but I'm not allowed to. Well, hello there. Huh? Thing I'm what? not allowed to say. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. My attention. Not allowed to say a lot of things. Like dancers, look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry. All right honey. then. Alien girls aren't really my thing. You say as you ogle the alien girls. A female of my own species. I don't like the tone of your voice. I work for David Kang. I'm used to people treating me with respect. And yet you're worthy of none. Yep. You are here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. I can't imagine why. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. Ah, doubtful. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't. You don't really do that this. anyway. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Oh, 
and it won't let me persuade him. I'm sure you can at some point, but... Yeah, I need to look up what kind of persuade it takes. You know what? Just take your credits and shove them where the sun don't shine. Don't, mm -hmm. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Good. Yay! I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Oh, yummy, juicy, chica night. Hung batoga smactilia. Da beast, you bone, cookie, punk, punk. Well, I don't know her official age, but I'm, I'm sure she's not a little girl. Who you call a little girl? Uh, I think they do give her official age. And that, she's supposed to be like 16, 15 or 16. Oh, dude, I thought she was like at least 18. Nope. <laughs> I get it, Zalbar. I too love food. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. I don't want exercise. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Don't be racist, Mission. Hmm. Very interesting. Hello there. Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? I get it. Say. I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Oh, Caterpie. Okay, the wiki doesn't say what it requires to persuade things. him. It Most just says that it has to be high. Considering that persuade is a cross-class skill for me, you showed a lot of guts dealing with it's going to take a while. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo. And this big Wookiee is my best friend, Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Information. We just kind of fell in together. Yay. On your own here Got the caterpie. Wait, Everyone's did I? I think it might have escaped. Around. Dang it. So we noticed. What? Still, you seem like an odd I was pair. playing Pokemon Go, and Zalbar, there was a caterpie. Like and I was match. looking for one since I, I don't have one. And I looked away to do more KOTOR, and then there was no more Caterpie. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info oh, on the Lower Terrace, I'm sparkle, the one sparkle. to talk to you. Davig, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Tell me Davig's more about Davig. Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Nope. Of course. Impossible. Secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it? Do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Yep. The Caterpie escaped, there, leaving me with my 10 CP Caterpie. And the exchange. There's lower two city gangs. gangs. About here in the lower city, the Black Bulkers and the Hidden Bex. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space lug his adopted son. Oh dear. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war. Honestly, I'd the probably be better too, Volkers but fall. maybe not They're that the better. Killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Yeah, that's what happens when you have an insane leader. Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen hmm. him kill people just for trying to talk to him. 
Yeah. He's around Zach's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. Yeah. I figure Cal has been hired by Davit to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. You should have spent this time eating then, rather than talking. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. <laughs> 